Hello everybody, welcome to lesson two where we'll be looking at technology a little bit more. So remember last lesson we looked at what is technology and we looked at how people create things to help us and that is technology not just plugged in so we're not just looking at the mobile phones computers but also looking at pencils and pencil sharpeners and scissors and i hope you enjoyed your technology scavenger hunt and found lots of different examples around your house today we're going to look more at using technology and look more at that computer or laptop so let's have a look. Most of you will have come into contact with this, one of these in school or somewhere else. And that is a desktop computer on the left over here and a laptop on the right over here. And we're going to look at those a little bit more. So what can we see in this picture? What is being shown in that circle? So this is part of a computer. That is a screen and that is what we see everything on a computer through. So we're looking at a screen when we're looking at a computer. Okay, it shows what the computer is doing. So what can you see in this part of the picture? What's at the bottom there? That's right, that is the keyboard. And the keyboard is used to type in letters and numbers. There's lots of different types of keyboards that you can see, some with capital letters with those big letters and some with our, our phonics, our lowercase letters in. And what's this circled here? Can you see there the yellow circle? What's been circled there? That's right, that is called the mouse. And the mouse helps us to select and move objects around on our computer screen. And what about this part? What is this here? That is the base unit. And that's where it stores and processes all the information that we do on a computer. So let's look at that all together. These are all the parts of a desktop computer. We've got the screen, the keyboard, the mouse and the base unit. All that goes together to make a desktop computer. So let's look now at the difference. So what have we got here? We've got the laptop. What can we see here being circled? That's right, that also, that is called the screen, exactly the same as what you've got on a desktop computer, we have on a laptop too, we have a screen. And that is where we see what the computer is doing. And what can we see here? What's there in front of us on that laptop? That's right, that is the keyboard. That is the same as on a desktop, just all in one device, all together. And that is where we type our letters and our numbers. And what about this here? What is that in the middle of the uh, laptop there at the front? What is that? That is called the trackpad. And it is like the mouse on the desktop computer. It is different on a laptop because it's on the laptop and it's called a trackpad, but it does the same. It is where we select and move objects. And we have to use our finger on that one to move the mouse around. Whereas on a desktop, we're holding the mouse and moving it with our whole hand. And there we go. Those are the parts of a laptop computer. We have the screen, the keyboard and the trackpad. What's the difference between them? If you have a look there on the left, we have the desktop computer. And look what's underlined there. We've got the word desk. And on the right here, we've got under word, underlined the word lap. Because a desktop computer goes on a desk and a laptop computer goes on our lap. And that is really the difference, is the desktop computer is something we have in one place where we go to the desktop and use it. Whereas a laptop can come with us and it can move around with us to where we want to sit. So can you remember the parts of, those, of that desktop computer? 
there's an activity for you to do there is a worksheet if you want to do it on that you can write it out on there or you can just say it out loud and talk to the person next to you and show them which part is which so remembering that the screen oops, sorry the screen the keyboard the base unit and the mouse so see if you can do that after this lesson and then also think about the differences here so we have where is the screen the keyboard and the trackpad so that's for you to have a think about after and then I want you to really use your imagination and I want you to create your own computer using whatever you can find in your house you can use cardboard cereal boxes toys you can use drawing, painting, Play-Doh. Use your imagination and create your own computer and then have a play with that. And try and remember to use those words, a screen, a keyboard, a mouse and a base unit if you create a desktop computer. Or if you do a laptop, remember the screen, the keyboard and the trackpad look forward to seeing some of these if I can if you want to send them to me my email address is available L lovely look forward to seeing you next time